Hey, gamers and story lovers alike, welcome back to Joystick News, your go-to spot for everything gaming, with a twist of storytelling magic. Today, we're diving deep into the dark, twisted, yet utterly fascinating world of Tales of Bayon. Buckle up, because this is not just a game review, it's a journey through folklore, fantasy, and the fine art of narrative gaming. And trust me, as a storyteller at heart, I've got some opinions to share on this one. The Essence of Tales of Bayon Imagine a world where the grim tales of old didn't just serve as bedtime stories to scare kids straight, but were the very fabric of reality. Tales of Bayan plunges us into such a universe, drawing heavily from Eastern European and Slavic folklore, the kind that Disney wouldn't dare touch. We're talking about a realm where the mystical and the mundane don't just coexist. They're intertwined in a dance as old as time itself. Right from the start, the game offers us a choice between two stories, each with its own protagonist and plot but tied together by a shared universe. It's a narrative-driven adventure with RPG elements so light, they're like a whisper of magic on a windy night. Think of it as the modern heir to the choose-your-own-adventure books, but with a distinctly Slavic soul. The World of Bayon The game's setting and tone remind me a bit of The Witcher, but make no mistake, Tales of Bayon carves its own path through the dark forest of storytelling. It's a world where the line between good and evil is as blurred as a smudged ink drawing, and every decision you make weaves you deeper into its complex tapestry. The narrative, dark, gloomy, and absolutely delicious. The characters are complex, the myths are mesmerizing, and the stories end satisfyingly murky. Gameplay-wise, it's straightforward. Point, click, interact, and let the story unfold. The puzzles and riddles add spice without overwhelming the palette, and the multiple endings promise a tale that's as replayable as it is enthralling. The Art of Bayon Visually, this game is a feast. The artistry on display is nothing short of phenomenal, with stunning scenes and characters that leap off the screen. The slight stop frame animation adds a touch of magic that fits perfectly with the overall tone. And the soundtrack? Hauntingly beautiful, enhancing every moment of the journey. A dark fairy tale worth telling. Tales of Bayon is a testament to the power of storytelling in games. It's a beautifully crafted dark fairy tale that offers more than just a game, it's an experience. Yes, some might crave more gameplay depth, but the world is so captivating, you might not even notice. For fantasy enthusiasts and lovers of folklore, Tales of Bayon is a must-play. It's available on the Xbox Store, and at £5.79, it's a steal for the hours of content and the sheer quality of storytelling it offers. My final thoughts. As a content creator passionate about gaming news and the art of storytelling, Tales of Bayon hits all the right notes for me. It's a reminder of the power of stories and how they can shape, not just entertain us. The game might have its limitations, gameplay-wise, but what it offers in return is a rich, immersive narrative experience that's all too rare in today's gaming landscape. So, should you play Tales of Bayon? Absolutely. Dive in for the stories, stay for the art, and come back for the choices. It's a journey worth taking, and one I'm thrilled to have shared with you. That's it for today's deep dive into Tales of Bayon. If you enjoyed this review and want more content like this, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on Joystick News. Until next time, keep gaming, keep dreaming, and never stop exploring the stories that make us who we are.